Big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. habits have changed a bit lately um, I just feel so hungry <laughs> and um, I still do intermittent fasting but I'll usually have my first meal of the day a little bit earlier than I used to um, I guess it's just I've been really stressed I've had a lot of things going on and I'm the type of person that when I'm stressed out I tend to like my body's kind of like a fire and it just burns everything really quickly, which I think is why I've been feeling really hungry lately. Um, so this morning I'm working with Danya, who's behind the camera right now. Um, and so we made a smoothie for breakfast. Um, this is a very filling smoothie that I like to make when, you know, I'm busy and I'm working and I, like I have a lot of things and I, I don't want to like necessarily have to sit down and eat a meal, which would be preferred usually, but Sometimes smoothies are just very handy uh, when you want to feel full, but like without feeling sluggish afterwards. So this has um, two bananas per person, one frozen, one fresh, and then frozen berries, soy milk and coconut milk. I've used whatever I had left, um, some peanut butter and cacao powder. That's all. And it's delicious. Cheers. <laughs> types of veggies and then we made um, vegetable satay with um, lots of different vegetables mushrooms sweet potatoes peppers zucchini and carrots and some tofu as well in it and then um, we added some green onions from the balcony and some sesame seeds that's where what we're gonna have for lunch today with Tanya how pleased are you that we're filming a what I eat in a day video today and that you can eat all the food? I think that's a very good idea to do that every, every Friday. Friday. <laughs> <laughs> we can do it more often. Let us know um, if you do enjoy it down in the comments as well. We can film those kind of videos more often. 
And also, before we go and have this lunch, I want to introduce Squarespace, which is the sponsor of today's video. Squarespace is the platform that I use to create my own website, and I've been using Squarespace for over a year now. I've been extremely happy with the service, and it's really easy to use. Um, I'm going to put some recipes on my Squarespace website. There are already a few and I know some of you have tried them so that really means a lot. Don't forget to tag me if you try any of them. And I'll put the link to my blog on Squarespace down in the description. And if any of you guys have been thinking of creating your own blog or website, whether you want to share recipes or something else, um, Squarespace is an amazing place to start. You can go to squarespace.com um, to get a free trial and see if you like it. You can also do like an online store on Squarespace, it's not just for blogs. There are so many possibilities. And then when you're ready to launch your website, you can go to squarespace.com slash and with that link you'll get 10% off your order of a domain or a website. Um, yeah, all the information as I said will be down in the description and now I'm gonna go eat because it's gonna get cold. Wanna be me? <laughs> <laughs> raviolis for dinner um, these are from Aldi they're new they didn't have them before and I tried the basil one earlier this week and they were really good mm. they are vegan and gluten free and they just taste so good these ones are pumpkin and sage ones and I made a salad with lettuce and some vegan feta cheese and pumpkin seed, olive oil, um, apple cider vinegar, salt, pepper. Very simple and easy. This is most likely all of the food that I will eat today. Um, I'm gonna have some chocolate tonight with tea. Usually in the evening I always have some chocolate or ice cream mostly chocolate and some tea and read a book or watch a movie and that's it, call it a day. Also, I wanted to share those raviolis and like this meal specifically because lately I've been quite busy with work and I know a lot of us can be at times or if you're a student and like I don't cook everything myself and sometimes I'll buy things that are like easier to make and a bit quicker and you know they're not I'm not gonna buy ready-made food every single day and eat that every single day and I try to make a lot of things homemade and if I eat ready-made food I'm gonna try to make uh, a salad with it or eat some fresh food mm, alongside with it it's all about finding balance something that works for you um, for me lately, like sometimes I feel very inspired to cook something and sometimes I just want to have something quick and filling and yummy and yeah, these raviolis have been a, like a really good mix of like something quick, easy to make that is pre-made but that isn't like super unhealthy. Alright, so that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next week. Bye!